everyone, I am Sarang Yatra of the From Faculty of Agriculture, University of Pera, Denia. As a social care program conducted by undergraduates, we have implemented Rally Bimen Summer Bimata, educational program to aid A-level and O-level students. Today, I am going to discuss active voice lesson in English language subject. First, we need to see what is active voice. The format of active voice is the first, the subject, followed by the verb, and then finally the object. Active voice is a form or set of forms of a verb. That means the verb can be in any form, in which the subject is typically the person or thing performing the action. That means the subject can be a person or a thing but should be who is doing the action and which can take a direct object that means the object is thing or person on whom activity is done. So to make this more clearer we will go to an example. Nayana watches television. Nayana is the subject watches is the verb and television is the object. Nayana is the subject that means who is completing the action of the verb. Nayana watches. What is Nayana watching? The television. So the television is the object. Nayana watches television. Who is watching the television? Nayana. So Nayana is the subject. What is Nayana watching? The television. So the television is the object. Nayana is watching the television. So watches is the verb. Nayana watches television. Nayana is the subject who is completing the action of the verb and watching the television. So the television is the object and watches is the verb. Now we will see how we use active voice when it comes to different tenses. Here we can see though the subject and the object is same, the verb could be different according to the tense that we are considering. Here the subject is I and a pizza is the object. The word make differs according to the tense. The word make. In simple present tense we can say make but it differs according to the tense. So first of all the easiest one simple present tense. Simple present tense is used when an action is happening right now or when it happens regularly. Depending on the person the simple present tense is formed by using the root form by adding s or SE to the end. We can say I make but we can't say she make. We need to say she makes, he makes but I make. So here in simple present tense I make a pizza. I make a pizza. So the second one present continuous tense. Present continuous tense is used when an action is happening right now, frequently and may continue into the future. We use am, is or are with the verb in present participle. So here the verb is in present participle, making. But we need to use am as the subject is I. I am making a pizza. Present continuous tense. I am making a pizza. The verb is in present participle. So the third one, simple past tense. Simple past tense which is used to refer to action that were completed in time period before the present time. The action may have been in the recent past or a long time ago. So in simple past tense, we can say, I made a pizza. I made. So, it is in the past. 
before the present time. Then the past continuous tense. It refers to an continuing action or state that was happening at the point at some point in the past. It also can be used to describe something that was happening continuously in the past when another action interrupted it. So I was making a pizza. I was making. So the action was continuously happening in some point at the past. So I was making a pizza is past continuous tense. Now we will look present perfect tense. The present perfect tense used to indicate a link between the present and the past. The time of the action is before now but not specified and we are often more interested in the result than the action itself. In present perfect tense, I have made a pizza. So the action is have made. What? A pizza. So we need to be careful when using present perfect tense as this is a little bit confusing. So we will go to the next one. Past perfect tense. Past perfect tense as we know is used for talking about something happened before something else. Before something else. I had made a pizza. I had made. So we need to use had made when it comes to past perfect tense. So the last one in this slide simple future tense. Simple future tense. It is used to talk about things that haven't happened yet. Talk about actions that will begin and end in the future. This action will happen. This action will begin and end in the future. I will make a pizza. So in simple future tense, I will make a pizza. So you can see here the subject and the object is similar in every sentence. I is the subject, a pizza is the object. But what is the difference? Make, am making, made, was making, have made, had made, will. So the verb is going to be different when the tense is different. So according to the tense, the verb will be different. But in this example, you can see the subject and the object is similar. When talking about tense, we have some more tenses. Future be going to. That means the future with going to is used to express events you have already planned in the future and your intentions for the future. An event or something that you have already planned in the future. So, I am going to make a pizza. We need to use am here as the subject is I and going to make. I am going to make a pizza. It is future with going to. Then when it comes to a model. A model verb is a type of verb that is used to indicate modality. Model verbs are auxiliary verbs or helping verbs such as like, will, could, would, must, might and should. So those are helping verbs. It helps to express the possibility, the ability, permission or obligation for sentence. So here I must make a pizza. We have used the model verb must here. I must make a pizza. Model perfect. That means the perfect model are not actually perfect. But they are called that because they use a model verb. Here the model verb is should. Model verb followed by a perfect tense construction. Perfect tense construction. The model verb should. 
followed by a perfect tense construction have make that means have plus the past participle the modal verb should then the perfect tense construction that means have plus the past participle make these are used to talk about past actions so in perfect model i should have make a pizza talk about a past action here also you can see the subject is i the object is a pizza that is similar but according to the tense the verb is the thing which is going to be different from sentence to sentence so i hope you understand how it happens how the verb is going to be different when the tense is different uh, so you may think that why do we use active voice actually normally the active voice is very easy so we will see why do we use active voice active voice is used in a clause whose subject expresses the agent of the main verb simply in active voice the agent or we can call the actor is usually the subject in active voice the agent is usually the subject so the subject can be easily identified by asking who or what to the verb subject can be easily identified by asking who or what to the verb so we will take an example so changed the flat tire so here the subject is so the verb is changed the object is the flat tire so who changed the flat tire so so the subject is so the subject can be easily identified by asking who or what to the verb so in this example so changed the flat tire so we need to ask who who changed so changed subject is so can be easily identified by asking who to the verb who plus the verb here the verb is changed so who changed the flat tire so changed the flat tire so the subject so can be easily identified by asking who to the verb so you may think in what situations we use what so we will take an example the forest fire destroyed the whole city the forest fire destroyed the whole city so we can ask what destroyed the whole city here the subject is the forest the forest fire actually so the verb is destroyed and the object is the whole city so we can ask what plus the verb so what destroyed the whole city the forest fire the forest fire is the thing that destroyed the whole city so in the first example so changed the flat tire so is the subject the flat tire is the object and changed is the verb so we can easily identify the subject by asking who changed the flat tire so in the second example the forest fire destroyed the whole city what destroyed the whole city the forest fire so i think that this is clear for you now as i previously said sentences are short sentences are short and easily understandable not as passive voice it's a little bit difficult but active voice is very simple and short and easy to understand so i hope now you understand why we use active voice mainly it is easy to understand and the sentences are very short
so here we come to the end of the lesson so wishing you all a nice day until we meet again with another lesson stay safe and goodbye all